Ants trailing an anthill, bees building a hive, wolves hunting in a pack. That's what we are, and always will be, even in times of crisis. Dear health workers, humanitarians, and caregivers, those on the front lines battling COVID-19, the first responders. Before we turn this off, because what do I know, right? I'm just an artist, or maybe a girl who hasn't even graduated college yet. But believe me when I say thank you to all the essential workers, bus drivers, police officers, grocery store workers, keeping the world running. As I pass you by, I give you a nod, my salute to you, smiling behind my mask with utmost respect found in places I never thought existed. You put yourself at risk every day because someone has to, for the public. Maybe we don't even belong to the same friend group, family, culture, but it sure does feel like you're looking out for me. Most days I leave my house alone, under the protection of only my mask and gloves, and my paranoia tells me I think this could be the day. The day someone tells me to go home to where I came from, spits at me, lashes out at me, my mind playing at the graphic xenophobia videos from my screens. But instead, I go out, and the general public is being considerate. They make way for me, they wait for me to pass, they smile and ask me how I'm doing, called me beautiful even, and complimented my dress. And again, these people are strangers, like maybe you watching this. They were from a different age group, demographic. A lady even let me help her move her things further on the conveyor belt without a moment of hesitation. Though I still felt the need to reassure her, muttering behind my mask, I'm clean, as I lift up my hands wrapped with the strikingly blue medical colored gloves. I know some people in a small part of the world made some mistakes, like a lot of us human beings do, never expecting our mistakes to multiply, affecting others, or in this case, billions of others. But this experience, getting my essentials in an odd moment of crisis, have really restored my faith in humanity. I see the majority working together with a common goal to fight this virus. I can't even imagine what the hospitals are looking like right now. I've been fortunate enough to stay home, but I can only imagine its crowded and frantic order. A space with human beings doing their best to help other humans from other tribes, other education systems, but essentially organisms who share this earth together as a pack. So to put it simply, thank you. And one day when it's my turn, I'll work just as hard as you are to heal the world to those who need it, to the best of my ability. Based on true feelings, thoughts, and a day at the grocery store. There was even this guy who asked if he could have my card after I was done with it, and I'm relieved people aren't afraid of me yet. And 